Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about the best strategy to get a ex back, okay? So the best strategy to get an ex back is this, okay? So this is a quick video for those people that perhaps haven't watched already my how to get your ex back video, right? So if you haven't watched that video then I highly recommend that you do um, because that will give you a more concise information about how to get your ex back. But Overall, this is what that video is about, a very condensed down version, a watered down version of that, okay? So the first thing that you have to do to get an ex back, and this is one of the best strategies that you can start doing, you can implement it straight away when you get broken up with, is to gracefully accept the breakup. Just accept it, right? Don't try and fight for the relationship, because if she or he has dumped you, there's not really a lot you can do. For whatever reason, they don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore. Okay, so the best thing to do, instead of fighting that, to just accept it, to just say, okay, well, that's fair enough, you know, I want to be with someone that loves me, and obviously if you're breaking up with me, then you don't love me anymore, so, you know, I'm going to do my own thing, and hopefully I'll find someone in the future who, who does love me, so I hope you have a good uh, life, and enjoy, you know, your time, um, and I'm going to try and do the same, um, so I wish you the best, and goodbye, basically. Right, so that's you gracefully accepting the breakup. Now, the next thing that you need to do, if you haven't done so already, um, and you, maybe you do this before as well, is that you apologise, because perhaps there were some things that you did that, you know, caused the breakup to happen, or perhaps you handled things badly for whatever reason, perhaps you handled the breakup badly. So the best thing to do, if you haven't done so already, is to apologise for any wrongdoings that you have done, okay? But if you've already apologised for everything, then you don't need to do that. If you've already said sorry about this and that and you've tried to fix things, then there's no need for you to do that. But if you haven't done so already, then do apologize because there may be some things that you need to own up for, okay? So you've got to gracefully accept the breakup. You've got to apologize for any of the wrongdoings that you have done if you haven't done so already. And then what you do is you apply the no contact rule, okay? So the no contact rule is a really good tool that you can use to see basically if your ex is bluffing in a way because what will happen is when you stop contacting your ex if they still love you and still care about you and actually regret the breakup then they will message you eventually because that makes sense right if you disappear and you stop talking to your ex they're going to fear losing you they're going to fear that you're never going to come back into their life right because you've disappeared right so if they love you and care about you they're going to try and stop that from happening they're going to try and get you back okay now, if they don't care about you and they're happy that the breakup happened, then when you apply the no contact rule, basically what will happen is that you will just never hear from them, okay? Unless it's something to do with finalizing the relationship or the marriage, like they may be asking you about divorce papers, they may be asking you about other entanglements like kids that you may have together and things like that, and they may ask you to run errands for them if you or for the kids or whatever, right? So that may still be happening. But ultimately, they're not asking about you, they're not inquiring about you, they're not asking about how you are, they basically don't care when, when they message you, they're only wanting something from you, okay? So it's very important to make that distinction. But applying the no contact rule is the best thing that you can do to know how this person actually really feels about you. Because if they love you, if they care about you, they'll come back. And if they don't, they won't, okay? So then you'll have a good idea, basically, on what to do next. So the next thing that you should be doing is trying to improve every facet of your life, like really trying to create a life for yourself that you're really happy about, that you're really fulfilled about, okay? And it's really important that you do that because if your ex does come back, right, then you're gonna be better, right? And hopefully then they will stick around, right? If that's what you're wanting, okay? So if you are improving like your physical health, your, your mental health, if you're improving your finances or you're improving um, your, your mindset, um, it could be that you're improving um, your business prospects, like perhaps you're you know, working more on your hobbies and your friendships and things like that. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna try and improve everything so you can become like the 2.0 version of yourself, okay? Because basically what this will do is that if your ex sees that you're improving your life and you're having a good time and you're actually living a lot more fulfilled life, when they look at seeing what you're doing, they're gonna be like really impressed. And if they then they might be so impressed that they actually wanna rejoin you, okay? But the idea is, is that 
you want to do this authentically. You don't want to be just doing this just to try and get your ex back. You should be trying to improve your life every year anyway, right? You should be trying to do that. You should be actively trying to make things better for yourself, creating better circumstances for yourself so you can have a more peaceful, happier, fulfilled life, okay? So it's a really good idea to, to do that. And basically what will happen is that when you get to a point, when you get to a stage where you're really actually enjoying your life and you've actually improved a lot of things, you may not care so much about your ex coming back because maybe you've made some new friends, maybe you've even met someone new, you've met someone better, right? And that can re often really change things for you and you may not even want to get your ex back to, at that point. Okay, so what another thing that you need to do then after that well, during that, because you may take a while to improve your life, is you got to pretend that, especially when they've broken up with you and you've gone into no contact, you have to pretend and you have to live from the place of they're not coming back, okay? Because that really does help you move on. Because sometimes when people get broken up with, they stay stuck. And what, that, and because, and what they're doing to, to do that is they're thinking back on the relationship a lot, they are trying to win them back um, somehow. You know, they've been perhaps going through old messages that they sent each other and you're looking at me messages that your ex sent you and thinking, oh, I really wish I could, um, you know, uh, change things. And you're, you're overanalyzing things that they said, like, oh, I wonder if, like, I wonder if I'd replied differently to that message, she would be back with me or he would be back with me, right? They overanalyze old messages like that, looking through old photos, just reminiscing, listening to songs that remind you of them, right? And that keeps them stuck. That prevents them from moving on. It's essentially they're opening up an old wound, right? And what happens when you open up an old wound is that the wound doesn't heal, right? So if you keep on opening up these old wounds, these old feelings, and making them, f and bring them into the present moment by listening to music, by overanalyzing old messages, by looking at their photos, by just reminiscing and feeling sad, right? Those things are gonna keep you stuck and it's gonna prevent you from moving on. It's gonna keep you at a square one. And your ex may have even already moved on with their life and there you are still stuck at square one because you didn't assume from the get-go that they were never coming back and living from that place because what you got to remember is they dumped you they got rid of you they ditched you okay and if that's the case then what you've got to do then is that try and move on with your life because if it's their choice to leave you it has to be their choice to come back because there's nothing really much you can do, right? Because what you've got to realize is that you can only be in control of your own life. You can only be in control of your own thoughts and the way that you do things. You can't control your ex, especially if you're not talking to them anymore, especially if they're not in your life at all anymore at all, right? The only thing you can control is yourself, which is why I talk about improving every facet of your life, right? And things like that, because that's something that you can work towards. That's something that is totally within your power. Whether your ex is coming back into your life or not is not within your power, okay? So what I want to say then after that is, is that when you have started to move on from, from your ex, what, how do you know if you're starting to feel a bit better, right? Um, so, the, so, so what will let you know, basically, if you're starting to feel better is if your emotions are less intense now about the breakup. Okay, so if you feel less intensely about it and the emotions are no longer raw, then you're definitely on the path to moving on. Okay, and if your ex loves you and cares about you while you're on this journey of moving on with your life, getting on with things, improving your life in, in many ways, in every way if you can, okay, and you're, you're taking that time to heal and to get over it. If your ex still loves you because you've applied and, and you've applied the no contact rule, if they love you and they care about you and they fear losing you, they will come back. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.